The most striking thing about the politician is how often his politics have been blanked or blank rather than ideological. So that first blank right there, we know that that blank has to be opposite more or less to ideological. Luckily, we get a little bit more and you should always you know, hunt for those clues. It says, as he adapts his political positions. So you're gonna, here's the key part. He's adapting his political positions at any particular moment to the political realities that constrain him. So breaking that down, he is being careful in his political position. He's making sure there's a reason why he's taking a certain political position. So it's not ideological, something he's fixed on, this is what I believe, but he's rather changing it depending on what's going on around him. So he's being what? And then you can see that the word strategic, which is answer choice C, works perfectly to describe that. So we didn't quite come up with our own word, but we broke down the passage, got the meaning, and were able to match with the answer. Now, just in terms of vocab, quick, quixotic, answer choice A means someone that's really idealistic and, and impractical. And we're going for, again, the opposite of ideological. So quixotic would be a more extreme form of ideological, definitely not the, the opposite. So again, the answer for the first blank is C. Now moving on to the second blank. This is the real hard one. This is the doozy, as they say. It says, he does not, however, piously blank political principles only to betray them in practice. Now, if you plug in the answers, instead of thinking through this, you will get this wrong. And I think a lot of people say, oh, F. You know, simply follow political principles. But wait a second. Look at the part that says, piously follow political principles. Let's assume it's follow political principles. Only to betray them in practice. In practice means following. So he's not following them only to betray them in following. He has to do something before he follows them. Because in practice and follow the same thing. So what's he doing? He's piously, well, standing up there and saying, I follow these positions. So he's making a big noise about it or advertising it to everyone. These are the political principles I follow. That makes sense because then he doesn't portray those in practice. But he's not following the political principles again. He's making a big noise and advertising them. That's the word we're going for here. Now, a lot of people then think, yeah, then it's flout. That's perfect. I get it now. But the reason why people choose flout is because they think we're dealing here with the word flaunt. And flaunt and flout are not the same words. And that's what's so difficult about this blank. To flaunt is to show off something. So yeah, he could totally flaunt these principles. That would make sense in the context. But flout means to disregard. So it's definitely not what we're going with for here. So again, when you brandish something, you kind of wave it about in someone's face and go, look at me, look what I'm doing. And it's almost in this kind of showing off, sort of threatening sort of way. You're hoping that someone will look at you and go, oh, wow, look at him, how moral he is. And that's the answer that goes here. And that's why this is one of the harder text completions in the test or in this set of questions. So now we at least have that. We can go to the third line, which isn't too difficult, but there's a little trick here as well. It says, rather he attempts in subtle ways to balance his political self-interest with a blank. Again, we have a blank. What's the blank? Well, look after the comma. Here's the clue. Viewing himself as an instrument of some unchanging higher purpose. So what word or words speak to that? Some higher purpose. I am this instrument. This person is going to help you achieve this higher level. What, what is this all about, this higher purpose? The sense of a deeply felt moral code, which is answer choice H. So that's what you're matching up with, unchanging higher purpose. Now, a lot of people say, oh, wait a second, though. What about thoroughgoing pragmatism? Doesn't pragmatic mean to be practical? And isn't he being practical up here when he's being strategic and making sure that he adapts his political positions to the political realities at the time? And the answer is, yeah, of course he's being pragmatic up here. But this specific blank, blank number three, is dealing with the clue or keywords here, which are unchanging higher purpose. And that, of course, is answer choice H, not I. And so our final answers are H. The third blank, D for the second blank, and C for the first blank.